You know, I seriously, seriously appreciate your visit to this channel. Thank you ever so much. And this, my friends, is the warmest, warmest ever welcome you will ever find on YouTube. It's my honour, it's my privilege to share my fragrance passion with you because my intention is to share and to inspire, to inspire you, yes you, to wear a good fragrance every day. You know what, a lot of people get really stressed out about how long a fragrance lasts. They say, you know, it's, it doesn't last long. You know, within an hour, it's gone. I'm going to say to you, I've given this one a lot of thought. Which is most important? Is it the smell or is it the performance? Mmm, you're going to say, cool, Leggy, that's a tricky one. And I suppose a lot of people are going to instantly say, well, the smell, it's got to smell amazing. Right. I've had some fragrances which I've sprayed on and I've gone, it's not my favourite ever smell, but that fragrance over the hour after hour of wearing it and in the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth hour, I can still smell it. I get like a bond with that fragrance. I suddenly, I understand that fragrance and I have a massive, massive respect for that fragrance and I'm going, yes, okay, you've won my heart. Yes, it's not my favouritest ever smell, but the performance has won my heart. And I've got to be honest, I think you'll agree with me, it is performance that can make or break a fragrance. All right, let me give you another example. I've got one here. I have never actually <laughs> been to the trouble of reviewing this one. It's Spirit of the Brave Perfume. And I bought it thinking, perfume, man. I know Spirit of the Brave doesn't last long, but perfume's gonna last a long time. And I sprayed it the first time and I'm like, ooh, Oh, man, I love this smell. And literally, within the hour, I couldn't get it. I had to go right down to my skin. It literally become a skin scent within the hour. All right, I will be honest with you. <laughs> it is very, very frustrating. It doesn't seem to matter whether you spend 20 pounds or whether you're spending 200 pounds. At some point, that fragrance will just give up and leave you, okay? Some are better than others, I'll give you that. But people get really, really stressed out about how long their fragrance lasts. You know, I want it to last all day. Is it a powerhouse? There aren't many of those available. Some are better than others. Okay, something like Herba Pura on my skin goes all day. But there are very, very few other fragrances that go that sort of distance. And especially projecting all that time. So how can we cut the stress out? How can we cut the fragrance anxiety out? Because you know me, I'm a kind of laid back guy. <laughs> there aren't many things in life I take seriously, except for fragrance. <laughs> no, seriously, even that, I don't. Okay, now, there are just a couple of things which I'm gonna to suggest to you that could keep your fragrance going longer and keep that massive smile on your face all day long. All right, the first thing I would highly recommend, suggest and insist that you do is that you moisturise your skin. Okay, now, I use this, okay, Nivea Men Anti-Age High Aleron and, okay, it claims it reduces wrinkles and firms the skin. I ain't bothered about that, but what this does is it goes onto your skin, it has a sun protection factor, so it stops you getting burnt, and as you sort of put it on your face, and I suggest onto your neck, right to the bottom of your neck, including the sides of your neck, as you rub this stuff on, it sort of sets up a barrier, like an oily, moisturising barrier, okay? Yes, it protects you from the sun, stops you getting burnt, but realistically, what it does is it produces a surface on which you can then spray your fragrance. Because if you spray a fragrance directly onto skin that is unmoisturized, literally, you see it shiny, and then within two or three minutes, it's gone, it's sunk in. The skin almost seems to suck it in as though, oh, I quite like, this. <laughs> like the smell of that fragrance, so I'll have it. But no, seriously, you need it to sit on the moisturized skin. Now, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna spray sort of chest and that, or arms, 
I suggest like a body moisturizer, you know, the, the Nivea's. It doesn't matter which one you're using, whether you're using Nivea or L'Oreal or something. Something with a fairly neutral sort of, you know, not without a heavy scent in the sort of perfume in the actual sort of moisturizer, but something which sets up a barrier on your skin, a moisturizing barrier upon which you then spray your fragrance and the fragrance, the fragrance. What on earth is a fragrance? <laughs> I'm breaking these teeth in for a camel. Come on. Right, okay. So your fragrance sits on the moisturized skin, okay? And at that point, instead of it being sucked into the skin, at that point it can slowly and gently radiate and what we call project off you, because that's what you want. You want to be able to smell it and you'd love those around you to smell it, okay? I know what you're thinking. He's almost right this boy, Leggy. Okay, so moisturize your skin and you're gonna say, Leggy, I still get lunchtime and it's gone. All right, let me cut the stress right out. Let me just knock out any stress that you have about your fragrance not lasting. Wherever I go, I carry one of these. Now, literally, let me show you against my hand how big it is. It's about the size of one of my fingers, okay. It easily slips into your pocket. And there aren't many occasions that you're wearing an outfit that doesn't have pockets. You know, whether you're wearing jogging, jogging trousers or whether you're wearing shorts or whether you're wearing formal trousers or whatever, there's always a pocket or two to drop one of these into. Now, if you've never seen one of these before, let me introduce you to an fragrance atomizer. Yeah, this is leggy getting technical. Okay, so it has a cap and then underneath, there's the spray thing, and it kind of looks very much like the sprayer off your real bottle. Then you have an aluminium body, which unclips, revealing the reservoir. And at the bottom, <laughs> the bottom is the thing at which you can insert your fragrance sprayer nozzle. And we'll come to that in a minute. So there's three parts to uh, an atomizer, the body, the reservoir, and the cap. And for many, many years, I have used Traveller. Let me tell you why I use Traveller. Because I have, in the past, gone onto eBay, and for, for sort of £9.99, you can get a pack of sort of 10 cheap Chinese versions of this. They kind of look the same. They don't have Traveller written on there. But let me tell you, the problems I had, out of the 10 I had in this pack, for, for, for £9.99, I think it was, Two or three of them, straight off, just didn't spray. So I filled them with the fragrance and they just, the sprayer just seemed to lock, right? I've had some leak in my pocket. Yes, my trousers smell amazing for months, but you don't really want them to leak. Some of them, as you're pumping the fragrance in, it starts to spray out as though it doesn't, it can't keep up with the pump. Then some of them, the cap on the top, you see there's like a friction, there's almost like a listen. A little click, a satisfying click. There's no restriction on the cheap ones and the cap literally, a slide on and off, you end up losing the cap. Okay. So there's many, many problems with the cheap ones. I went, I had one lot of cheap ones, I went right off them and I was straight back to my Travelo. Now when I first started buying Travelo many, many, many years ago, when I were a lad, these things were £4.99 British money. And you know what, every time I bought a bottle of fragrance, whatever it was, when I bought a fragrance, I also bought one of these. So when you're, say, spending, for example, sort of 60 or 70 pounds on a fragrance, another four or four pound 99 pence, it wasn't a problem. Because then, <laughs> just the beauty about an atomizer is, once it's in your pocket, you can literally take it out and spray it any time of the day. Literally, any time of day. But the problem is, these uh, Travelos, whilst I will be honest with you, they are the best, they have slowly crept up and up and up in price. They are still amazing quality. I've never had one stop spraying. I've never had one where the cap loses its resistance. I've never had one with leaks or anything like that. They are always 100% reliable but I say they've crept up in price. And now, if you were to buy one, it will cost you 15 British pounds. So when you're adding that on top of a fragrance, a 60 or 70 pound fragrance, you're kind of thinking, man, that's a lot of money. Is there a cheaper option? There always is a cheaper option, isn't there? Especially with me. I'm just cheap, aren't I? Okay, I resemble that comment. 
Okay, now, if you go to Boots the Chemist, now here in the UK, Boots is probably our biggest chemist, along with maybe Superdrug, who also sell this product. Okay, so it is called, oh man, can I even focus on it? It's called Perfume Pod Pure. I don't know what the pure is on about, but the name of it is Perfume Pod. So there you go. This thing, this thing is seven pounds, 99 pence British money. And it is readily available. Any boots that sell fragrance or any super drug that sell fragrance or even on various internet sites, this is available at £7.99. Sometimes you get them on offer and they're even cheaper than that. Okay, that one's still in the packet. I didn't need to tell you that, you kind of worked that out. But this one is out of the packet. Okay, they all, as far as I know, have clear bodies and they all have caps. Now the cap, like the Travelo, has a resistance. Okay, it's a nice tight snug fit. It ain't just gonna fall off in your pocket. And there you go, there's the sort of nozzle, okay? And it also has a bottom into which you can insert your fragrance, and we'll show you that in a moment. It's very similar to the Travelo, only difference is it's half the price. Now I believe, depending on what stock they've got, you can buy ones with different color caps. That's a black one, I think you can buy a gray one, a pink one, a silver one, various ones, okay. So, how on earth do these work, Leggy? Why are you saying that this is a, a sort of a, a miracle cure for fragrances not lasting? Okay. All fragrances, doesn't matter which one they are, they all have a stem where the fragrance comes out. So it doesn't matter. All right, let's just pick one at random. Okay, so here we go. This is a dupe, a copy of Baccarat Rouge. I'm not going to review this soon because this is actually stunning. Okay. So any fragrance you get, take the cap off. I didn't really need to tell you that, you kind of worked it out. Then underneath, there's always like a body and an actual thing that you push the sprayer, okay? At some point, if you pull hard enough, that sprayer comes off revealing, can you see it? Look at that, the sprayer sort of stem, okay? Now, that came off fairly simple. Some of them will put up a bit of a fight, okay? Here's another fragrance, okay? It doesn't matter whether you've spent like 20 pound on a fragrance or I'm gonna show you a niche one in a minute. So this is a uh, Latifah's, what is it? It's the <laughs> no bras. Um, so there you go. Even that, come on leggy, I'm trying to get used to this camera. So there you go, that is the stem. Once you've taken off the actual sort of sprayer ting, Oh man, I'm rubbish with this camera. So unprofessional. Okay, see the nozzle, see the stem in the middle. That's the key thing. That's what you're going to need to uh, spray into. So it doesn't matter whether you spent silly money on a sort of a niche fragrance. They all, once you take the cap off, you can take the nozzle off. There's the stem. They all have it. Let me show you what you do. Okay, so we've got a fragrance here. Uh, this is Polo Red Perfume. So take the cap off. You don't really need instructions for that, do you? And then underneath, that's what's got to come off. Now, sometimes they might be a little bit tight, but there is always a way of just... <clears throat> sometimes you have to get your nail underneath it. This is really professional. This is Got my nail underneath it, and sure enough, eventually that cap gives up and says, OK, go on then, you can take me off. And there you go, see if I can just get it so you can see that there, look at that focus. So there you go, there's the thing on there. So, where are we? So I'm gonna get my perfume a pod. Man, this is like a real basic lesson this is. You're enjoying this. So you get your perfume pod and you place, it's like a, a biology lesson. So you place the, uh, the male onto the female and you start pumping. Are you ready? Look at that. Can you see the fragrance? sort of going up into the perfume pod. Okay, and the thing is, at first you're thinking, oh, is it gonna take forever? Next thing you know, it's full. Okay, and most of these take between sort of five and eight mil. So after a couple of seconds of pumping, that's it. That's all you need. 
That will do, and that will give you probably a week's worth of pocket sprays, if you know what I mean. And once you've filled that up, you're good to go on there with the little ting tong, here we go. And then you literally put that back, always spray towards yourself in case there's a little bit comes off. So there you go. That's how simple it is to fill one of these little beauties. And then that literally goes in your pocket. Nobody ever has to see that, but you just, you get it out, and you topple. That, my friends, will keep a massive, massive smile on your face. And it doesn't matter whether you're at work, whether you're at your place of worship, whether you're at the gym, have one of those in your pocket and any stress and any anxiety that I can no longer smell my fragrance, it's gone. Take this out, top up, and that's it. You can move on and you can carry on enjoying your day. Every fragrance you can do that with. And you're going to say, Leggy, man, no, 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 no. What about something like one million? You can't really get to the nozzle on there. There's always a way. Now, <clears throat> it's an old Chinese proverb. Where there is a will, there is a relative. Actually, no, I don't know if it's Chinese, but it's an old proverb that we have. No, it is relatively simple to do. Anyone familiar with that? Yeah. Okay, some people are going, oh yeah, lucky, that's a, that's a, what's it, what's it called? That's the thing that you hammer nails into wood with. All right, that, my friends, is a screwdriver. Okay, it's a flat bladed screwdriver. Let's give you a DIY lesson. A screwdriver, because they don't really come with instruction screwdrivers, they kind of expect you to know what to do. A screwdriver has a handle and a blade. And you know what? The handle is the bit you hold, the blade is the bit that you gouge your screws into the wood with, all right? You wouldn't get this on a DIY channel. So this is what you need to deal with certain fragrances which put up a little bit of resistance. Okay, something like one million. So you've got your one million, okay? And at the bottom, you'll see there's a little tag. You literally flip your screwdriver in there and the front comes off. Here's one I stripped down earlier. So when you've got the top off, you then put your screwdriver between the glass body and this top bit, which you can see I've got off at the minute, and you literally just gently prise it and that's what you're left with. And you're gonna say, Leggy, that, that ain't gonna fit in the travel atomizer. Right, you then pull off that and sure enough, even one million you can do it with. Okay, you wouldn't get this on any other channel. All right, you're gonna say, Leggy, what about Invictus? You cannot get to the sprayer nozzle on Invictus. Where there is a will, there is a relative. Invictus. I don't know why I keep Invictus in one of the kitchen cupboards, but I do. This is Invictus Platinum. One of my favorite Invictus is, is, is. Okay, and you're gonna say, Leggy, come on, man. You can't get the top off, it's sealed. Trusty screwdriver. Now, let me try and explain. What you have to do is you have to put your thumb where it says pack a raban and push on the pack a raban, insert the screwdriver in the back, just like that, and suddenly you hear a satisfying click. And even Invictus gives up, revealing a stem. And then of course you get your stem and you pump the fragrance into your perfume pod. Now I'm going to suggest to you, I've been using perfume pods for a little while now. I wanted to try them, I wanted to use them, I've been using them for just over 12 months and I wanted to be able to say to you that at half the price of a Travelo, perfume pod is a wise investment. So if you're going to buy a fragrance, I suggest that you also buy a £7.99. Now sometimes in boots these are not very visible. They'll either have them in a drawer or in a cupboard or sometimes where they've got the bottles this will be tucked down the back. Sometimes you have to ask, you can say, may I have a perfume pod pure? And the woman behind the counter will say, certainly sir. And she will produce one of these and they are £7.99. I'm going to say that, my friends, takes all the stress out of how long your fragrance lasts for because it can last as long as you want. And as long as you keep your atomizer 
And whether you go for the Travelo or the Perfume Pod, which I'm going to suggest Perfume Pod makes a lot more financial sense at the moment, whichever one you go for, as long as you keep that topped up, and I say you'll get a week out of this, maybe it's more, that in your pocket anytime, it doesn't matter, just a quick cheeky squirt there, freshen up, maybe come lunchtime you go, I can't smell my fragrance, Perfume Pod to the rescue. Have I given you enough information? Yeah, hopefully so. Right, I really appreciate your time. I appreciate your patience. This has been a long review and I haven't even reviewed a fragrance. <laughs> Man, I don't know how I get away with it, seriously. Thank you for coming to this channel. I really am grateful. If you would consider a thumbs up or two, or just one actually, because if you click it twice, it takes the thumbs up off. So just click it once please thank you and if you would kindly come back for the next review because they're gonna let me out for another one oh <laughs> for good behavior of course okay and in the meantime please stay safe and more importantly than that please choose a good fragrance and spray it every day and either put the real bottle in your bag and take it with you to work or put your cheeky atomizer you know I've got to be honest if I go out of the house without an atomizer in my pocket, I kind of feel undressed. This, literally, it doesn't take anything to carry one of these. And just have it by your front door, and when you put your keys in the pocket, your wallet in the pocket, your phone in the pocket, slip your atomizer in the pocket, it doesn't take up any space. And seriously, you will thank me for that. You'll say, Maggie, I had so much a better a day. My fragrance lasted all day. Okay, I've said enough now. I'm going to let you go because it's nearly bedtime. Good night and goodbye.